This is a perfectly good steak. And if it doesn't turn out tender and juicy and tasty, that is not the steak's fault. I'm gonna show you the five mistakes that will ruin a perfectly good steak. And we're gonna start with the first one, which is seasoning. If you're not seasoning, you're just leaving flavor on the table. Flavor's in there. This is what's gonna bring it out. So basically salt, you can do some pepper, you can do some cayenne pepper. Keep it simple, but season and season profusely. Go ahead and rub that in, get it along the edge. That baby's all ready to go. If you can take the steak out of the fridge a half an hour early, if you think of it, great. It'll help a little bit. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. Number two is to have the right pan and to have that pan be hot. I'm not talking about warmed up. I'm talking about smoking hot. Let me test that for you. Look at that. Water disappears immediately. Now, the best pan for cooking a steak is cast iron. It's got the best heat retention. That heat retention is gonna ensure that you're getting an actual sear on the steak and that is gonna give you that beautiful crust that we're looking for. A little bit of olive oil. Keep everything from sticking. This is gonna keep the butter from burning later on. Lay the steaks in always away from you, that way. And number three is cooking your steak correctly. Now, just as the key to men's fashion is knowing what size you actually wear, the key to a steak is knowing how you like it cooked and being able to cook it that way. Now, you either get a meat thermometer or you learn just from tapping it. The trick is, this is rare, medium rare, well done. You get used to that, and you'll know how you like your steaks, and you'll know how to cook it correctly. Now, I like my steaks pretty rare, so I'm only going to give this, even a thick steak like this, I'm only going to give it about a minute, minute 20 seconds on either side. You get a sense of how, what that sear looks like. Okay, look at that beautiful crust. That's what we're going for. That's magnificent. Number four is the butter based. Now, you probably heard that fat is flavor. That butter is gonna bring that flavor to every part of your steak. So as it melts, you wanna be using this melted butter to baste the steak, bring that fat, which is gonna carry the flavor to every part of your steak. Now, there are recipes where people are putting garlic in here. They're putting fresh thyme in there. It's good, it's not necessary. These are the basics. Get all the flavor out of that steak that you can. And let this side sear. Go ahead and hit the sides. Hit that big piece of fat on the back. You want that to sear as well. This side. Oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna be good. And number five. Big mistake that a lot of people make is they don't let the steak rest. Take it off the heat, set it on the board, five to 10 minutes. Don't poke it, don't wrap it in anything, don't touch it, don't look at it. Just let it rest. It's the final key of keeping all the juices in, making sure it's tender and tasty and fantastic. And that's it. After letting it sit for five to 10 minutes, we can go ahead and slice it. that. 
That is just fantastic. Okay, this is the part where I start to get excited because I get to eat this in a minute. So I'm not gonna hang around for much longer. I hope you like this video. You can subscribe to my channel up here, get all my videos. Uh, if you wanna check out the next video, it's right over here. It's gonna be this cast iron pan, the most versatile pan that Lodge makes, all about it in the next video. That's all I got. Mm, I'm out of here. Wow. Oh my God, yeah. Oh.